Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to Terraria. More specifically, Mod of Redemption. And we've been here before. Many, many years ago. Like, three years now. now. That's a lot of ball man between now and then. But a lot has changed since then. New bosses, class overhauls, some nice new tunes to jam to. You gotta love it. There's also some other stuff in there. Through some, uh, little pizzazz, you might say. Some new things. New mods never before seen on the Ballman channel. New biomes, new overhauls, sound effects, music. What's not to like? Also, I got textures, son. Boy, do I got them. I like this guy. This isn't the guide. Not an NPC at all. This is a tree. An NP tree. Goldfish angler? He's here too. Snack that smiles back, all right. Also, ain't that pretty? Could stare at that all day. Oh, yeah. But instead of going over every mod and texture pack that I have, I'm just gonna let you discover them as we play. Because I got like 60 of them on at once. Which isn't a lot, but it is enough to tell me that I have a problem. I can't just leave it alone anymore. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I apologize in advance. That's the last one you're gonna get, though. Will it break progression? Well, maybe. Will it be worth it? Absolutely. 100%. Is it not too late to turn back? Can I be stopped? No. So let's just get into this let's play and see what we see. All right. I can hear the Geiger counter going off as we speak. About to get real irradiated up in this. So the Mod of Redemption, for those of you that don't know, theme-wise, is basically a 50-50 split of sci-fi and fantasy. Which, uh, with recent updates, I'm not exactly sure that I could say it's completely 50-50 anymore. At least my knowledge of it, it is. A lot of the very iconic stuff, like the Abandoned Lab and Patient Zero, just that whole entire section of the game, everything to do with Xenomite and the nuclear wasteland, all that stuff, very cool, very iconic, all sci-fi. There's also the ancient deity duo, Uko and Akka, I think is how you say it. Some of the, uh, the ruins you find underground, and I remember that there was at one point a druid class, which I believe has since been removed or reworked. Gonna be lots of new stuff to explore going forward. Well, definitely lots of stuff to explore if you couldn't tell just by the general look of things, because everything is different now. It looks the same, but it's kind of different. As I mentioned in the intro, I'm not going to go over all the mods that I have, but they are going to be in the description. All the mods and texture packs and all that. So you're going to be able to go down there and take a look at that and see what all I got going on if you want to play like this. I did test quite a lot of this stuff out instead of just, you know, slapping a bunch of stuff together and going, oh, this is going to be fine. I'm totally not going to have any problems. But I learned my lesson from that, to be sure. So hopefully there's no issues. There's going to be lots of new stuff to look at, and I'm very excited to get into this. I am already hyped up, because Mod of Redemption, for those of you that haven't been here for a thousand years and watched all the videos that I've done, it was one of, if not the most popular, well, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's the most popular Let's Play. I believe uh, Stars Above might have slightly pulled ahead in that regard, but Mod of Redemption, definitely my top five for sure, most popular mods on the channel. So I had to revisit it. Also, it was a special request by a certain cat person in my Discord that was very adamant that I give it a try and take a look at it and see things that are new and wonderful and amazing. I, I'm so excited, it's gonna be a great time. Hopefully I didn't jump in at a bad time because of course it would be, uh, you know, hey, you really gotta check this mod out. It's gonna be awesome, it's full of all kinds of cool stuff, except for right now, everything is broken right now, exactly when you're starting. That, that would be my luck. But anyways, all that business aside, thinking about all the terrible things that could go wrong, let's get into the adventure and see what we can find. I'm gathering a bunch of wood right now. We're going to do this uh, a little bit different, I guess you could say, out of order, I suppose. Because I would like to, if at all possible, get a some kind of base set up here. Some kind of something, because it always ends up that I go underground and I get pulverized. And then I come back up to the surface and, oh, I spent 30 minutes with an intro. So now it's nighttime and I'm screwed. So just a bunch of zombies and demon eyes and God knows what else coming out of the woodwork, falling out of the void to rip my face off. It's going to be a great time. So we're going to build a house. That's the main thing. And hopefully I will be nice and safe and protected from all of the terrifying monsters 
If there is something fancy that you guys would like to see me build, base-wise, definitely be thinking about that, because I've, <laughs> I've got no idea. I, I don't even... Last time I played Mod of Redemption, I think I just did a, a box hotel. So, I'm gonna do that again until uh, otherwise specified. I think this little platform right here was where I was. So we're gonna go up pretty high and leave that there like that. And now I should be good. Be good to go to make some kind of box. Yeah, this is gonna be great. It's gonna be totally even and not at all uneven and it's gonna look really good and it's gonna be awesome. It's 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 gonna be pretty ugly. It's uh, it's okay though. Um, honestly, uh, I'm in the box hotel uh, superiority gang. To tell you the truth, that's my that's my thing. If I wasn't recording for let's plays, I would never build fancy bases. What you're looking at right here, this is practically the go-to, as it has been since Terraria came out. I have done nothing different. I'm gonna do this, wall it off, build a couple of houses connected to this, and then we're gonna go down underground. And we're gonna start gathering. We're gonna start hunter gathering. Also, the music in the background is the overhaul soundtrack. If you uh, didn't know why the standard Terraria music sounds a little odd, the main reason why all this texture packs and everything in here is because I had to replace the Calamity mod stuff because I wanted to mix things up a little bit, use something else. Because I used the Calamity mod texture pack for a long time. I had to replace the sound effects, the music, all that. I had to get rid of it, put new stuff in there. So. This amalgamation is hopefully going to accomplish that. I don't know if it will. Most of it, not every single sprite is reworked, but a very vast majority of them are. So, it's gonna be great. That's what I'm saying, that's what I'm getting at. That's what I keep alluding to. Oh, I almost forgot. There we go. Now we're ready to play. All right, the base is done just in time. Look at that lighting. That is just absolutely gorgeous. And we've got ourselves a full set of wooden armor. One defense, yay. So excited. And I got a wooden sword, which I notice has a little bit of an effect. Chicken! Come here, you! Ha! Ah. <laughs> ha ha! That's awesome that it explodes like that. I love it when the critters erupt into gore. But uh, yeah, small chance to decapitate most humanoid enemies, killing them instantly. Interesting. Also, some of the other things here have a uh, similar little flavor text. Three times crit damage, increased chance to decapitate humanoid enemies. Lee the Architect has arrived. He's already here? Wow. That's surprising. And Hammer deals quadruple damage to guard points. Well, I've got no idea what that is, but, uh, cool. Also, I know you're noticing all that stuff leveling up in the background. There's a reason for all of that, and you will see why later. All in good time, my friends. Ah, what is that? Oh my god, I didn't even see it. Ah, yeah, chop with the axe. Here we go. We're gonna go right here with this. Everything's in master mode, by the way. I'm getting beaten to death by everything because of that. It's going to be a bad time. And nighttime. No healing potion there. Healing potion, I say. I grab one of those. Went over and got some sunflowers and everything. We got a village already, which is just spectacular. There's that. We're gonna throw this down right here. And, uh, yeah, that looks good. All right. Lee is here. Shop changer. Hi there, friend. Um, you sell a lot of things that I, uh, at the very beginning of the game, I may be able to manipulate. Yeah, some of this stuff I kind of wonder about, so I'm going to leave you alone. All right, I'm going to let you be. I can make a furnace, though. I'll throw that down. I might have to do some adjusting here. I didn't really want this room to be like an NPC house, so it is what it is, I guess. Just for temporary. That sprite looks awesome, by the way. I'm a big fan of that. And I can make an anvil as well. Okay. I gotta make an adjustment here. Hang on a second. We're gonna do this. We're gonna adjust this house. It's gonna be oblong, and it's gonna be the only one that's like it. And it's gonna drive me nuts, but we're gonna do it because this has to be a uh, a crafting area. Wait a minute. What is that? The wooden bow is. What is that? Grab a few arrows here. What is that? What exactly is that supposed to be? It looks like I'm shooting it out of a cup. It's supposed to be like a blowgun or something like that. Is that what that is? That's kind of funny. I like that. Never played with the Foundry and Alchemy texture pack before, but I'm very excited to see what it's got in store for me. All right. Well, I make flaming arrows. Waste the last of my torches on flaming arrows. That's exactly what I need to do. Oh, God. Yep, everything is definitely master mode, that's for sure. Everything has hard mode enemy stats. Oh. Instantaneous destruction. Also, I have a respawn time decreaser, don't yell at me, okay? It's it's because of skill issue, I'll admit that. Leave me alone. Ah! It's gonna be horrible. I might have to make a, a rapid retreat and try to find a hole in the ground that I can fall into and hide. 
either that or make my own. Because, uh, this is just not... It's not gonna work for me. Oh, what do we got over here? Thorn bushes. Break this. What else have I found over here? What is that? Ensnared? Oh, God. Part of thorns. Or thorn. Summons an unfortunate curse bearer who is, yeah, literally thorn. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that later. Ooh, look at that. Moonflare bat. Didn't want nothing to do with me. Ready to move on here. All right, let's go ahead down here. Underground, oh, God. Oh, this is bad. This is a bad time. Oh, God, I can see the numbers getting closer. I'm kind of scared. I can't get away. I can't see. What do I do? Help. Someone call my mom. Oh, that's too late. I'll tell her I tried to leave a message. All right, I'm taking one of these with me. Oh, good. Torches. Thank God. All right, we got a few. And we found some ore. Thank God. We're making progress here. We're going to do really well. Things are already turning around. Also, if you couldn't tell, I'm no longer playing with the Remnants mod on. I wanted to give that a rest. Try some other things out. Plus, Mod of Redemption also has a lot of structures already generating as it is. So I didn't want to kind of overcrowd the world or have it screw around with too much of the uh, generation that already exists. Because as Remnants has stated many times, it is uh, not trying to be compatible with most content mods. It is meant to be central in a Let's Play or playthrough. So, making do without that. Ah, the old Terraria world, Jen. How I've missed you. Kind of anticlimactic explosion, gotta tell you. Sort of hoping that it would have been a little bit more dramatic than that. Can I have any light at all? Oh, the bomb gives me light. Hey, there's a slime. Oh, God. Give me your gel. Come on, how much health does this thing have? Okay, there we go. I have some light. This is a, uh, a miserable time down here, I gotta tell you. Exploration is rough. Things are hard without that handicap built in. <laughs> oh, we have a glowing thing over there. I know what that is. Probably death. No, it's a life crystal. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Added to my list of skill issue related things, but I now have a mod that makes uh, life crystals and life fruits glow. It's party. I like shiny things. What can I say? Oh, yeah. Now we got some help. And there's another one right up there. Look at that. Very generous world gen. I do miss that. Remnant's mod uh, wasn't always the most generous in the world. Kind of made me work for some of it sometimes. It really did. It's going to be fine. It's going to be a great time. Here's a worm. A portal rumbles. Check the map for location. Oh. Well, that's different. Well, in that case, let me just deal with this worm. Eventually. We'll go figure out where that's at. Probably off in the void a thousand miles away from where I'm at right now. God. Oh, there's two worms? Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to die. Come on. Yeah. How about the... How about the... Ah, ah! There you go, I got it. Dead. Oh god, a pinky! Oh, 500 health! I am not equipped to deal with that. Oh god, I'm stuck. Help, 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 and we're dead! Well, I wanted to go back home anyway, it's fine. Okay, let's check the map for location. You're all the way over there. Ew, ew. Gonna be a bit of a walk. We can go over there and take a look, I guess. I'm sure it won't be any trouble at all whatsoever. Gonna be a great time. Sing a little song on our way over there. How about, uh, I don't know. Adventure time. Come on, grab your friends. We'll go to very distant lands. Take the dog and fin the human. The fun will never end. It's adventure time. And we're still not there yet, which is a shame. And we're going across the desert, though. Pretty nifty. All right. Some very Remnants mod looking structures over here, but I promise you they're not. It is from Wombat's General Improvements. And it is it connected tangentially. It gives some of the remnants generation without all of the structures and everything. So there's going to be a little bit here and there, just to make the world look a little bit more diverse and varied, which is always a good thing. What is that thing? Warps Walker Priest. What are you doing? Oh, God. Why? My God. Okay. Don't mess with that guy. He's not friendly. Three gold. Goblork ears? What? Right. Okay. Um, let's try again. This time, we're not gonna go that way. The lumberjack is here, which is good. How about I meet something that isn't horrifyingly dangerous? Sorry for these long journeys. I don't have any quirky story time about my washing machine or about cream soda. 
I'm really lacking in the rambling nonsense department, which normally I'm overflowing with. Oh, good. Yeah, that's another downside about these being up here. I'm not going to be able to get away from that thing, am I? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Fine. How about we go up here, see if there's anything I can craft. Make a cactus sword? That's different. A chance to drop a defense-increasing nature boon upon hitting enemies inflicted with a non-fire debuff. Interesting. I'll definitely use that, for sure. Eh, I got a lot of tin. How about a piece of tin armor? That's good. Makes literally no difference. Great. It's great. I love that so, so very much. The best course of action is to just run. Seems to be working out pretty well for me so far. Thank God that was awful. Okay, here we go. We're almost there. I see a chest. I just have to get up there before something ridiculous comes out of nowhere and tries to murder me, which I'm going to take all this, put that on. That thing in particular is what I'm talking about right there. One of those. Okay, we're up and over. We are away. I have a yellow marigold. And what is that thing? Um, ah, hi there. Oh, corruption. Oh, no. Um, uh, there's a slime. Uh, hey, Dariel. Know where we are? Oh, these guys, I kind of remember them. Uh, Dariel? Oh, hey there. Didn't notice you. You haven't happened upon a boy cloaked in black, have you? No, I haven't been to Hot Topic in a while. Guess he didn't jump in. Oh, well. I'll head back to get him. I'll come back once I find him. So you better have a place for us to stay. This text has gone by kind of slow. I have the ability to manipulate how fast it moves through the uh, mod config. I think I slowed it down a little bit too much. So what did we get here? Oh God, ah, other than my ass kicked. Run away. Okay, I grabbed the thing that was something on a table. I'm running away. Goodbye. If I hide down here, will I be safe? Can I read these things? What did I get? A chalice fragments. Holding this in your hand will point to an ancient structure. Shimmerable into Cursed Gem. This is for the Chalice of Alignment in the Hall of Heroes. That's right, I remember this. So I get this to begin with now, huh? Okay, that's cool, I like that. And the Forbidden Ritual. May draw unwanted attention. Requires the user to have at least 140 max life. So this is for a boss, Elbat Imp. Okay, uh, neat. Well, that is, that is great. Yuppan has arrived. Thank God Yuppan is here. I'm glad to see Yuppan, he's... He's my boy, the die trader. All right, man. I gotta tell you, whoever did the desert theme for this mod pack was a uh, real big fan of bongos. Not complaining though. I'm a big fan of them too. All right, well, let's see. Down into the dangerous hole, or fight the antlion chargers with almost as much health as the eye of Cthulhu. Hey, one of these guys. Where'd you come from? A garden gnome. Interesting. Ah, uh, well, I guess I'll head back to my base. I could just die and be fine. What is that? Is that a golden thing? Oh, it's a spider. Never mind. I can barely even tell what that was. It doesn't even look like a spider. Oh, what is that? Devil's tongue. That looks like a shoot it from a distance kind of thing going on there. Uh, yeah. I feel like I was right. Lots of flies all over the place, it looks like, too. I'm not really sure what's up with that. That's different. Oh, there were two of them there. That's why. Oh, God, I'm in trouble. I just want to look at the prickly pear in my inventory. That's all. Help. Help, help, help. No. Oh god, 82. Uh, there's stuff everywhere. What is that thing? Grand Larva. Well, it's a good thing I don't want to keep any of my money anyway. Got a full house already, practically. My god, it's amazing what'll happen whenever you install a thousand mods. Isn't that something? All right, well, I guess we'll throw the uh, Garden Gnome down right there. That looks spectacular, just like that. And what do we got here? Anything craftable? I can make a uh, Cactus Pickaxe. Has the same uh, flavor text ability as the regular stuff. Regular cactus equipment, that is. We'll throw that on there. Definitely. Might as well throw out the chains. Should be able to make a sawmill. I don't know why I said it like that. Should be able to make a sawmill. I have no idea why. That's just the way that it is. Bloom. There we go. Getting closer. The threats are lumen. I was gonna make a bed, but because of that bad pun, I scared away all the cobwebs in my inventory, which is hilarious. All right, that's fine. Um, deposit all of you. We'll open the can of worms, because why not? Put all the things in there, hold on to that. Used to make pink dye. All right, nothing special about that. It was a new sprite, so I wasn't sure it was something different. All right. And uh, just to finish things off, we're gonna make a bucket and we're gonna put it on our head. Yeah, I, uh, I think that's a good spot to end it, actually. 
Not really intending to get very far in terms of progress with this mod. The first episode is always just a check out what I got coming. So I hope you guys are as excited for this as me. If this does well, who knows, I might just make the next episode today and I'll upload a second one immediately. So be sure to uh, leave a comment about what you think, share the video, leave some likes, some commentary, it doesn't matter what it is. Any feedback at all be appreciated. I'd love to hear what you think. So like I said, got a good look at what we got going on here. Sort of idea of how things are gonna be a lot different. So going forward, hope you're ready for some surprises. But anyways, like I said, I think I'm gonna call it an episode here, guys. So. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.